Hello, welcome to the channel and welcome back to Resurrect Autos HQ. Guys, it's the 4th of January, I'm back. Um, yeah, and I hope you had a good Christmas. And yeah, I hope everyone has a great new year. Um, and thanks for obviously continuing to follow me, guys. Really do appreciate it. Um, gonna have some really good cars coming up this year, hopefully, um, and just keep pushing forward, just keep moving it. Um, yeah, just keep uh, <laughs> keep doing what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, we're back into it. Um, we're gonna be doing this today. Um, we've got a few bits and pieces to do around this car. Um, I've got some parts, I've sourced some parts for this now, and I'll be picking those up this week, and then we can sort of be, you know, continue with doing that um, with the bonnet, bumper, and the headlights and stuff like that. But yeah, I just have to uh, just keep pushing forward. Um, I have got some a guy coming over today to look at this Fiesta. Hopefully today, um, he was. I did say in the last video before I broke up for Christmas that I'll put a video out uh, about the Fiesta when I get it running uh, on Instagram. But he didn't. He didn't turn up. He couldn't. He, you know, he just. He, he didn't let me down, but he just said that you know he had family business and he had to you know get ready for Christmas and all the rest of it. So it was too much of a rush. But now we're back in January. Um, he's coming over hopefully today. So yeah, it's just getting him over here um, to look at it. Um, I did get some goodies for Christmas um, for the lock up. I'll show you that in a second. I'll spin you around. We'll get into that. Um, what else happened? The, the Silver Fiesta. I put an Instagram post on the, on the Silver Fiesta that sold as well, and I dropped it off to them as well. Nice couple um, over in Rom Romford, so I, I managed to just get it over there, drop it over to them. So yeah, that was good. Um, I think I sold that for two thousand nine hundred in the end. Um, so yeah, nice little profit on that one. Uh, believe it or not, <laughs> but there was. So there we go. Um, let's uh, let's spin you around. Let's get into it. Let's carry on with this. So yeah, guys, like I was just saying, we're going to get into this today. Continue with this BMW 1 Series. And um, I can't remember what we've got last time. Oh, the last video, we pulled these out, didn't we? Managed to get them straightened up. Um, got the slam panel on, crash bar, all that sort of font on. But I've got to connect up all the hoses um, and all that sort of side of it. So that is what I'm going to be doing next, is getting that sorted out, getting that, um, getting the coolant bottle in place, getting it all filled up, continue, take the bonnet off, let's get that out of the way. Um, hopefully I can pick one up this week, like I was just saying. Um, but I just, yeah, I just don't know at the minute. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to be able to reuse on this. Don't, they're all bent over and stuff. So, yeah. But, um, yeah, nice little toasty fire. As you can see, so that's going. Um, but let me get in, let me just show you a couple of bits that I got for Christmas. And uh, the first one is here a nice little stall. So, yeah, just a nice little seat to go with the uh, go with my area. So, that's good, that's all done. This is what I really wanted to show you. Um, yeah, <laughs> I asked for some cleaning products and she just, yeah, she said, look, just, just send me a link of what you want. Um, I found this, so I thought, you know what, this will, this will really, really um, come in handy. So you can see that obviously, you know, it comes with all the gear, all the sprays. Um, it's like a chewing gum, bubble gum spray, is that? Silicon dressing, uh, crystal clear, which is glass cleaner. Uh, this is a dry foam upholstery cleaner, so that'll be good with the actual um, uh, my carpet cleaner, my upholstery cleaner that I use, the Karcher, so that'd be good. Uh, obviously sponges, uh, some covers, a couple of air fresheners, new chamois leather. Um, this is a dash dandy, it's like a, a, a dashboard spray. These blast sprays are pretty good. Um, and I've, I've actually, I've, I did actually use to see it, and you basically just spray it on that. It's like an air freshener. So yeah, it smells well good. <laughs> so that's good. A couple of those, a couple of bottles. And then all these uh, five litre uh, tubs, with all, obviously different things in it. This has got a like, smart wheel cleaner. This is shampoo, G101. 
So you hear a lot about this G101, so I've got some of that now. This is a platinum polish. So we'll get into that. We'll try some of that out. Um, universal dressing. So I'm assuming it's going to be, yeah, for like plastics and rubbers, like a spray. So that's good. Got some of that. Um, and this stuff is, again, it's this clean, superior cleaning performance. But I'll have to actually have a look to see what, you know, which ones um, are best. But obviously, you know, G101 is the one that everyone seems to sort of know of. Um, so, yeah, really good, uh, really good products, guys. So there we go. That is that. Just wanted to show you. So let's get into this BMW. <sighs> right. I'm going to set you up with a carry-on. I don't know if you can hear the rain, but obviously the rain is starting to come down now. Um, so yeah and we've got the obviously yeah you see the rain i've got the parts for this now the gti so we can um it'll be a video on this this week on that gti i want to get it finished mot'd cleaned um and done so yeah that that could be finished uh the fiesta we haven't even attempted anything on that yet so i need to <laughs> get into that Again, we should be able to get a video out this week as well on that on that one as well. Um, and I just need to look for some more products. Uh, pro I need to look for some more projects, guys, to be honest with you. Um, because hopefully the guy can get this running this week as well. So this week's going to be a big push. Everything gets sorted. Um, I don't think I'm going to get this finished at all, really. I need to get some parts, of it, like I said. So, But at least we can get it all back together, all running. And yeah. We can possibly get this headlight in as well today. We'll have a look. So, yeah, I'll set you up and um, let's go for it. Okie dokie, guys. So, yep, yeah, we are getting closer. So I managed to get the bottle on. That's all in place. Um, it, this part here was a little bit bent in. That's why I had to knock it in a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's gone back really well. I sort of clean this up, get some spray, some G101. I've knocked some up, look. So I put a little bit at the bottom. And uh, yeah, just use, I'll be using that from now on. <laughs> so there we go, yeah, some G101. Anyway, <laughs> so that's the bonnet off as well. Bonnet's over there. I don't know what I can use of this, to be honest with you. I'm probably gonna be able to use the central um, 
heat cover shield whatever it is i don't know if it's heat cover actually because it's uh it's rubber i think it's just a little bit of uh, rubber um yeah i could use these hoses to go to there take off the jets probably use them these little plugs will probably should come off as well um the actual locks themselves i don't think i'm going to be using that uh because i think actually they come they might come with that the new the, the next one i get because i'm not sure which one i'm going to get in a minute if i want to go down the, the new route because these are super hard to find these bonnets I've, I've been looking searching since i got the car basically i've been searching for parts and um yeah they're really really hard to find um in this year um it's just yeah really hard I, I, i've literally phoned everyone and i had a lot of use messaging me as well like try these breakers you know these this they, they you know rob and chris they use this breakers honestly i've tried them all every single person that messaged me with a breakers or a bmw spares or whoever i tried them guys and they're just not around um, at the minute so every single one of them said just call back in the new year because uh, we obviously we get cars in and out all the time so just have to, yeah, just have to bear with it and uh, see what I can find. But I think all the pipes have been connected properly. And I'm hoping there's no holes or splits in any of these hoses. Um, and basically how I'm going to do that is, is just put water, put water in the system and uh, see if there's any leaks coming out. Yeah, there was a, when I, when I, when I bought the car in, drove it in, there was a leak on this corner underneath. It was like there was it was all over there. So I don't know if that's coming from the rad or it was coming from a hose. But we need to find that out. Because the actual rad pack, yeah, I've seen worse and holding water. Um, so I really, really don't know at the minute if it's going to be a case of... Um, yeah, a pipe. But let's fill the system up. Let's get it filled up. Let's let's find out what's going on. Um, I don't really want to put the airbox and that in place until I know that this is holding the water correctly. Because otherwise it's going to be... Take the box back out and then get to these pipes and all the rest of it. So, yeah, I think that's going to be our next... Just drop that. <laughs> Just slipped straight out of my hand. Anyway... Let's fill it up for a while. Let's crack on. Let's keep going. And um, let's see if we've got any water leaks. You will see it <laughs> underneath if we have. So, yeah, we'll see it together. So let's do this, guys. Right, okay guys, I hope you can hear me properly. But as you can see, yeah, it's running really, really well. So, fan's obviously spinning, um, but I think that's because, you know, I need to connect everything up. Um, we have got an engine management light on, on, in, on the dash. I'll show you that in a second, but I think that's because of all these unplugged, you know what I mean? All these math sensors, um, the coolant level bottle, that needs to be, um, sorted out because we've got this wire that that there goes up up there but as you can see it all smashed off so i did get the other one off the other side off the other um bottle and i'll have to just have to cut these wires uh, join them up there and then take that plug off here i could probably do it can i do it on the I'd probably push them out actually. Could I do that? Oh no, I can't. 
I might be able to. Yeah, I might be able to um, just pop the pins out. I'll have a look at that, see if I can do it. That'd be a lot quicker, a lot easier. Just pop, pop the pins, two pins out of there, put two pins out of there, and swap this, uh, swap this over. I'll show you me doing that in case, in case I can get it, get it done. Um, I don't know if you've, um, I don't know if you've uh, <laughs> saw that, but yeah, as you can see, there's some wiring to do on here, which is the light, light plug. So we've got to do a bit of wiring here um, as well. So we'll sort that out. But so far, so good. No leaks at all um, underneath there. So that's really, really good. I'm quite surprised myself, quite shocked really. I thought there was gonna be some sort of, uh... yeah, I thought there was gonna be some sort of um some sort of pipe here that's split or broke or nothing like that so everything seems to be working really really well so that's good uh, I'll quickly show you inside so I've put the heating on and we're already getting some nice hot air coming from there yeah it hasn't been running for too long so I'm not expecting you know a real good heat but there is some there is some heat I'm just trying to get the get it circulated around the system. Sometimes if you rev it. You really that turbo, because it's obviously, uh, it's not connected to the airbox and that. So you can really need a turbo. Whistling along. So yeah, we've got an engine management light, as you can see, it's there. Um, but I think that's because, like I said, yeah, all the you know all the sensors, the plugs, it's all, it's all been disconnected. The lights ain't connected. So once that's all connected um, and it's still up, I'll have to maybe go into into the car itself, uh, plug it in, and then sort of wipe it all, and then go from there. But yeah, I, honestly, I'm honestly starting to really like these BMWs. Um, it's got this this iDrive system here. I have no idea, and none of this works. Uh, so yeah. Has it got nav sat navigation? I think it's got sat nav, guys. Yep. Yeah. It's got sat nav. So that's pretty cool. Look at that. Yeah, this is a really, really cool car for someone to tell you. This is gonna be a really nice car. I'm definitely gonna be looking out for more of these one series. Um, definitely. Because I really do, I really do like them. They're really comfortable to sit in as well. These these BMWs, really comfortable. So yeah, there we go. Let's turn her off just for a minute, just so I can talk a bit better. <laughs> so there we go. Yeah, I'm really liking these BMWs. So where are we? Um, I've got to do a little bit more connection underneath here. So I've got to do a bolt here and lift it up a little bit more, put a bolt in there, make sure it's, it's you know, this, this front panel is in the, the correct position where I want it. Um, I can put this light on as well. We'll put this light in place, get that on, put the air box back in place. That's all done. I'm happy now that um, there's no leaks and I don't have to get to any of those pipes to, to, to remove them or to, to change them at all. So there's no splits. So, yeah, really, 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 really cool. Um, great, great progress already <laughs> to the new year. Right, there we go, guys. Let me set you up. Let's carry on. And, uh, yeah, let's keep, keep, keep moving.
Right, so it has all been done up, all the bolts uh, on both sides, so it's all nice and tight. And uh, yeah, it's the air box done. Let's take it down a little bit so you can see a bit more. Another step closer. So yeah, everything's been put back together. Um, not sure about this here though, to be honest with you. I feel like there should be something here. Is there nothing on the... That's the old one. It feels like there's, I don't know, something missing. Maybe it should be like that. I don't know. I might have to look into that. But uh, yeah, it's definitely getting there, guys. So, another little step forward. Just got to do that wiring in. He's wiring this wiring here and here. So, you can swap that over. Um, I've got to fill up a little bit more. It's gone down a bit more. And this, this obviously, you undo this, and it obviously. Air bubbles come out. No, it's going to come out now, is it? Maybe the car needs starting. Let's have a look. Running really well. There you go, look. So it just pushes the air bubbles out and just I think that's how you uh, bleed the system because there's no there's no way of bleeding the actual top of the radiator anywhere. So I think it's that's the case. Yeah, it's got to be. It's the only one. So, yeah. Another little step forward. Right, let's turn her off. I think I found a bonnet. I've got to uh, get it picked up. But yeah, right. So that's it, guys. That is going to be the end of today's video. Um, yeah, like I said before, uh, I hope everyone has a great new year and yeah, um, I'm going to keep going <laughs> and do what I do and there we go. So, so yeah, guys, that's going to be the end of today's video. Um, I hope you like, like the video that I'm doing. Uh, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. That'll really help and, uh, drop me a comment if you've got anything to say, but for now, stay safe and I'll see you in the next one.